Is this set same continuity? Uh, as the other Blade movies. Yes. Well, it's said that Wesley Snipes has said that he's spoken to Marvel about reprising the role of Blade. Mm-hmm. So it's entirely possible. But that would sure. mean that the MCU extends all the way back to like 97? Mm. Did that come out? Or 98? Mm. I can't remember whatever that was. Is Blade a... Do they have the rights to Blade again? Yes, because they, okay, right. they got it back when they got Dead Evil and um, yeah, okay, Punisher. Cool. Yeah, right. yeah, And Ghost Rider, which they'll mm. never use. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? Do you think you, you, you can go with that version of Blade or do you reckon you should go with the Snipes version or just recast Blade? No, new version. I think Blade Aller. We want Blade Aller, do I you think. Th- do you th- so you reckon if they brought back Snipes, people would be like, oh no. Or do you think people... Because people like those movies generally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, mean, but I guess you could also bring him back and him not be the main focus. Yeah. And you wouldn't even have to acknowledge that those other Blade movies are set in the MCU, mm. I guess. I th- yeah, I don't know. I, I reckon that new character... Spilled that bottle of water again like mm, I did. So many times. <laughs> um, I reckon new version of the character... Mm. Uh, maybe Snipes, have him off in the background. Have yeah. him maybe his powers are gone or something like okay, that. Okay, sure, or yeah. like... Because otherwise, why isn't he in the fight? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, good point. Yeah. He could be like the Whistler. He could be like the Whistler. Like the Whistler. Mm. Those movies were okay, weren't they? I think so. It's tough to say <laughs> at this point. It you know sure what I mean? Is. And, and you, if we want to really find out definitively, we have to go back and watch them again. Mm. I don't want to risk it. That's our philosophy is also never mm. go back. Correct. It's written on probably a t-shirt we have. <laughs> okay. Mads Mikkelsen. Yes. Do you, did you watch the season finale of Hannibal? Not yet. I haven't watched any of it. I, yeah. I, I want to get through it. Uh, uh, you love that show, right? It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, I mean, it's pretty intense. I've heard the final episode's amazing. All right. I'll, That's I'll from get what on. everybody is. I'll get onto it. Get onto it. I will. Don't All right. Good. Work. Anyway, he's going to be a Doctor Strange villain, right? Yeah, one of them. Okay. I don't know who. Dormammu? Could be Dormammu. Who else is there? He can't be bloody... Um, can't be Mordo. Mordo, because he's already cast. Well, then that's all... Maybe he's Shumagorath. Yeah, isn't he some kind of... Is he he's the a tentacle night- monster. Uh, no, he can't. <laughs> who's, who's the nightmare monster who lives in like a nightmare world and he gives you nightmares? Might be Nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> might be his actual name. I might be thinking of a different villain. You're thinking of that weird Grim Reaper character from the Nightmare video board game from the <laughs> I 80s. Yeah. That's what you're thinking of. <laughs> that game, that was... That was something, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. That blew my mind, though, at the time. I'm like, wow, that is... Someone's really thought of a thing here. How do they know? What are yes. you going to do? I had the child-friendly version, though. We've talked about this. I had the Rap Rat video board oh, game. Yes. <laughs> uh, sure. That takes me back to a previous episode where I made you listen to it. So many memories. <laughs> anyway, great, right? Mads Mikkelsen. I like Mads. Apparently, in the Star Wars Rogue One movie, he's not a villain either. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. It could be like a rebel leader. He could be wacky comic relief. Yeah. He could have a Jar Jar Binks green screen <laughs> thing on his head. Yeah. He's got skills. Yeah, he's so many. A few movies I've wrapped filming, which you may or may not have heard. Let's go with the latter, but all right, yes. Sure. Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah, I've filming. heard of it. Apocalypse has wrapped filming. Hmm. And Civil War has wrapped filming. They'll probably go back for reshoots. Oh, yeah. Maybe not Fantastic Four extensive <laughs> reshoots, <laughs> but reshoots nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Pretty good. That that was Civil War very quick. That means that that must be coming. You know, those they're coming along. They should they? release it now. Well, I didn't see unfinished. why they wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, just release it now. It's fine. I'd be okay with that. Would you watch an unfinished version of Civil War? No, I probably wouldn't. Absolutely not. Would you watch an unfinished version of Star Wars? No. Really? Ooh, no. See, I would. Because I am a purist. Not that, but afraid I'm, of the law. Yes, <laughs> but I know I'm fully expecting the new Star Wars to be. A movie, like I mean, I'm you know I'm excited to see it, but it's just it's not going to be like the defining moment of my generation. It's just going to be a movie that I'm just going to see. Okay, yeah, and it's probably pretty good. So I don't want to I don't want to stack the deck against it by watching an unfinished version where the special effects aren't done. Fair and enough. I'm like, oh yeah, I suppose it was fine. Kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, fair you know? enough. If I was super like if this was the the thing that I was looking forward to most in the last ten years. Yeah, yeah. Probably watch an unfinished version, Absolutely. but otherwise, no. otherwise, no. Nah. Nah. Good on you. Yeah. Good on you for having an opinion. Did you see the Star Wars teaser that they released? A on Instagram? Brief, yeah, on yeah, Instagram, I did, yeah. Very briefly. Uh-huh. It was only like a snippet of new footage. Like yeah. John Boyega's lightsabering it up. That's right, yeah. Yeah, that's, that looks pretty sweet. Which is sort of the other side of that. The snow. The snow thing. Yeah. Like clear, now we know it's sort of a cat and mouse duel between those two, it I guess. It could be. It could look kind of ethereal. It could just be the low quality of it. Uh-huh. Ethereal? Ethereal, but yes. Yeah. I, I saw what you're saying. I'm thinking of Mithril from... Those Lord of the Rings movies, which mm. got worse. But 
You know, there's that dream sequence in the cave. Yes. In Empire. Mm-hmm. Do you reckon? It, oh, of, you think it's the same thing? I'm, not, I'm saying it could be. You're saying it's exact. You're saying I'm that saying it's exactly that, the same yes, thing. Yes, that's right. Mm. Yeah, it's just a trick of the light, but that right. is the same scene. Yeah. No, I'm gonna say it's a real. I'm gonna say it's real. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, it's the cat. It's a kind of a cat and mouse duel. Maybe. I don't think he'll do well though, because by the look of looks of things, he's not a, a Jedi. In no, any he's way. just like Whoa, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> when, I reckon Luke Skywalker rescue. Yeah, that's my guess. absolutely. Yeah, mm-hmm. CGI flips. No. Good, please please good. no. <laughs> I'm not ruling it out. I'm saying please don't. Did you know in the Star Wars universe, Star mm-hmm. Wars... Oh, by the way, we did Star Wars commentary track, didn't we? Yes, we did. I've probably put that up by now. No, I would have. Okay. It's, it's for the first one, the original one, A New Hope. You can find that on weeklyplanetpod.bandcamp.com. Oh, yeah. Or if you're a Patreon, patreon.com slash Movies. that'll be there. So if you're already a Patreon, that'll be there. Or if you become one. For any amount of money, you can also have that. Nice. Either of those things. Or listen to it for free. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You go to, you go to Bandcamp, you can just play it as yeah. well. Whatever. Great. Um, what was they saying? Yeah. In the in the original, the idea of the lightsaber was that it was so like powerful, you needed like two hands to hold it. That's right. And that yeah. was the idea. Mm-hmm. I, that's something I didn't say in the commentary that I wish I did. Well, it's too late now, isn't it? <laughs> I can edit it. What in, if listeners would like to just hold on to this podcast on your iPod and then wait till a lightsaber is drawn yes. in Star Wars A New Hope while you are listening to our commentary and then just hit play. That's right. Reverse 15 seconds, hit play, and have James bloody spurt out that fact. Amazing fact. So you, you know, you know lightsaber is very powerful. <laughs> You're full of hate. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, also... Um, the new Star Wars film will debut on every IMAX screen in North America. Every, every single, single one. one. No yeah. choice in the in the matter. Apparently not. So mm. that's pretty good, I guess. I, mean, I reckon. For us, I reckon there'll be one theatre that's like, no, we're not doing it. <laughs> we're going to play something about whales. Yeah, exactly. Three <laughs> D three D whales. Three D whales in space. That's what we're playing. I've always, it's it's going to be edutaining. Boo! Yeah, I've always boo. wanted to go one of those space things though. Like actually go and see like a space IMAX thing. Why haven't you though? Yeah, it seems like you don't really want to. You're right. If, if you really wanted point. to, you would have done it by now. Because if it was the Star Wars movie, what you're saying is it. you'd you'd like to impress people, educated <laughs> people by saying, "Well, you know, I'm thinking about seeing one of those educational movies about whales in space." Yeah. That's Star Trek Four: Whales in Space. Whales in Space is four, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. good stuff. Mm-hmm. Man, that's great. Last bit of news. Oh yeah, something that we got. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This is the Civil War lineup. Oh, yeah. Somebody said through the images, um, which I then put Allegedly. In, allegedly. Well, we yeah. found them in the forest. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, so what do you think of the lineup? I sat on those for, well, I showed you like a week ago. And oh, I was yeah. like, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Do I just. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, no, I released them. And it, you know, went looks pretty very well. they the, all those sheets look very impressive. Yeah, they yeah. do, eh? Mm. Now you notice like Spider Man's not in there and Scarlet, Scarlet which Witch is also not in there. Yeah, the person who sent them to me allegedly, allegedly when um, you found them in the forest, <laughs> found them in the, the forest. wood nymph <laughs> yeah. who, who gave us to gave them to us in the forest uh, made the point that the reason Scarlet Witch and Spider Man isn't in it because the rights lie with Sony and Fox for those characters, so yes. they can't use them in the promotional. Right. Because that's promo art, stuff you slap on a lunchbox yeah, or totally. a backpack or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's what that is. So that's Are they going to do Avengers? Are they going to do Civil War Spider Man action figures, do you think? Yeah, I, they I, can't. they'd have to. Yeah. They'd have to, wouldn't they? I assume so. Mm. Mm. What I hope, though, is that they're not allowed to. <laughs> and then Fox and Sony are like, okay, we'll release merchandise separately, but it'll be a different scale. So you'll, <laughs> okay. you'll buy your Iron Man and your Captain America action figures and you'll be like, oh, yeah, play, play with these, whatever. And then or put them in the put them in the you know the the background the set or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then you you buy the Spider Man ones and they're like six inches taller. <laughs> Wait a second, why is this guy taller than the Hulk? I don't understand. <laughs> that would be amazing. What do you think of the lineup though? Do you, like people are saying that it's not the the deck is stacked in Tony Stark's favor. Well, he's got War Machine. He's got War Machine. Vision. Yeah. Oh yeah, which is like yeah, <laughs> who was completely card. unstoppable in the previous film. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Who else has he got? Like he didn't even break a sweat. I mean, he couldn't break a sweat because no, he's a robot. That's but right. Even if he could, he probably wouldn't <laughs> probably have. Probably wouldn't even bother. Because he's real tough. Yeah. Who else is there? And uh, then Captain America's got... I mean, he's got... Who else has he's Tony got, Stark got? Tony Stark, Stark has this. got... He's got War Machine? Bloody... He's got Agent... Oh, no. Uh, he's got uh, Scarlett Johansson. Black Widow, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got it. Which is weird because you'd assume she would be on Captain America's Yeah, team. well, there's also rumours that someone's going to change sides. So that rumour is Black Widow. Yeah, but 
Do you think that's too obvious? Well, yeah, but that's why it's going to happen. Oh, okay. Well, in in had we if we hadn't get gotten millions of if in this in a world where we don't get millions of spoilers prior yeah, yeah. to a movie coming out, that wouldn't be an obvious choice. But since yeah. we have to go over all these things a million times <laughs> before a movie comes out, yes, it is the obvious. Yeah, choice. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm. Uh, it's also um, Black Panther. There we go. Yeah, it was supposed to be neutral, but I think he switches sides as well at Ooh, some point or something. Double Something's twist. Going on. Yeah. Uh, and then Captain America Captain gets Scott, Hawkeye, Ant Man, yeah, Ant Man, Bucky, Falcon, Agent Thirteen, who's Sharon Carter, yeah, and I mean, presumably, just, oh, and I think he's got, he's got Scarlet Witch's, which as well, okay, right. so that kind of that's a pretty and when, yeah. you, when you consider Winter Soldier, yeah, so that's, that's a good, it's a good get, it's a good time, yeah. And for those who are wondering if there is a piece of artwork in which Ant Man rides one of Hawkeye's arrows, let's just say. Wink, hey. That, that's. I mean, I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. But neither of us would know. Neither of us would know because we don't want to get slapped by Marvel. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hypothetically, yeah. <laughs> okay. but there is one. It looks real good. <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. We're gonna get a lot of emails. <laughs> We're not the exclusive people. Other people probably have it. Yeah. It's Other like... people who have no fear of being sued. <laughs> so ask them about it. Ask the blood. Ask bloody schmoes. Knows. <laughs> They'll know. Uh, good stuff. Let me think. I mean, Ant-Man can go giant, can't he? One would assume so. so that's, that's, that'd be pretty handy. Yeah. But the Vision could just face through his head and pull out his brain. So. The Vision is, <laughs> ultimately could do that to anyone. I yeah, think, you're right. It's so. a really good point. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I think it... I, I like the idea also that, you know, the Tony Stark would have the more powerful team. I think it makes it more interesting. Yeah, totally, if you just yeah. stack everybody on Captain America's team, what's the point of anything? Like, exactly. Who bloody cares, mate? All right. We're we- we're ready to do the thing. That we're oh, gonna what are we going to do this week? We're going to do we're going to do a versus. We're going to do a bloody versus. The famous weekly planet scissors versus episodes. We've done it two other times. Two other times. Heroes <laughs> versus heroes. Then villains versus villains. And now the, the random grab bag. Whatever. Whatever we think of. We got hundreds of these. Yes, we so do. I'm sorry, I obviously couldn't pick them all. So in this this week, for anyone who hasn't listened to the previous episodes. Listeners have sent in yeah. people, to, uh, to or individuals or groups, you know, comic book, pop culture characters they want us to fight. Yep. We will determine who is the winner. That's right. Uh, and the, the rules, rules are, are, the rules are, what happens is the two characters will appear in the Weekly Planet Battle World, <laughs> which as we've established is a standard size American football field. Yep. And let's say, so nobody gets an advantage, let's say it's in Wisconsin. Okay. Go Packers! Woo! Are you sure that's where they're from? I, look, I don't know anything about football, <laughs> but once I saw the Super Bowl... Super Bowl. Super, once I saw the Super Bowl... Thank you. And like 30 seconds of it, and all the fans had big wedges of cheese on their head, and I think I'm on board. You're on board, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so they appear opposite ends of that, yep. and then what they do is they determine that the other person's a threat, Yep. and then they act as accordingly as they would Correct. to subdue that opponent. So that's right. Deadpool, probably shoot to kill. Yep. Batman, aim to incapacitate. Unless he's movie version of Batman. Oh, then he probably, who knows, then he <laughs> just blow him up or whatever. <laughs> yeah, just exactly. Leave him for, I don't know, poison him, doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, or, you know, circumstances might change. Yep. So Wolverine might go non-lethal for a minute. Yep. And then he realises Aunt May is more dangerous than he anticipated <laughs> and just chop her head off, right? Absolutely. We don't know. Also, um, this is, look... Our ruling is final. <laughs> That's right. Don't, would you say don't email it and correct us? Because or do. I don't yeah, know. yeah, it doesn't matter really, does it? Because we, I don't know, we'll probably change our, like, look, it, it depends on what day you ask us this as well. Absolutely. So. And presumably, <laughs> like, we're going to try and do all new ones this week. Yeah. But I'm, it's a fairly safe bet that one from one of the previous episodes will slip through the net and we'll give a different answer than we did no, last no time. No doubt. Or the exact same answer, but <laughs> phrased more poorly. You know what I mean? Do you want me to kick it off? Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. So we've got two classic comic book characters. Okay. Now, I haven't got the name of the person this is from, so I apologize. Most of them I actually do. Great. Doc Brown yes. versus Willy Wonka. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Oh, also... Um, have they got their gear? They have whatever standard gear they would have. Okay, so Doc Brown's got his time machine. He's, he's got the DeLorean. Willy Wonka's got a cane. Maybe he could hobble forward and do he's a He's got forward. a factory. He's got a factory. So he brings his factory with him. Uh, they can't bring sidekicks either, can they? So Doc Brown can't bring Marty. 
and Willy Wonka can't no. bring like, I would say dead, he, dead children. I would say he could contact Marty. Okay. I'd say comms are open yep. if that's something they can do. <laughs> yep. But I would say you can't just be like, hey, because that's that's not a versus. That's, that's, that's two that's on point. one. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. I think Doc Brown's got this. I mean, he's had his blood replaced as well. Do you remember that? So he's much fitter than... Oh, yeah, initially. It depends future. on because it's all also. Do we are we talking? It's normally their. It's, it's at their prime. At their prime, yeah. yeah. Which I think is Back to the Future too. Yeah, that's when fair. Doc gets his blood replaced yeah. and. Mm-hmm. I mean, in three, he didn't even have a DeLorean. So. No, he didn't even. Well, he had a, yeah, he didn't. He had a steam train. He had a train. That's not yeah. well, not, not the same. Yeah. It's not very handy, is it? Really? Not at all. But then he had a flying steam train, which is the so best that's company. very handy. Mm. Mm. Look, Willy Wonka's a weird lunatic. He's definitely a lunatic. <laughs> See, we don't know. Like, maybe he has his blood replaced all the time with the blood of children that go to his factory. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's definitely done that to her more than once. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's killed a lot the of kids. Dead kids. Yeah. But look, I think Willy Wonka's full of tricks, but I don't think he's got enough tricks. No. Quite frankly. Like, he... he... He is a dangerous man, I feel. <laughs> yes. We've discussed before, like, he could be a, a former Nazi scientist. We were on a, uh, we were on a podcast. Yeah, we're Plumbing not, the Death Star. Plumbing yeah. the Death Star. You should check that one out where yeah. it's us. Uh, we debate whether Willy Wonka is any good at his job and or a Nazi scientist. <laughs> uh, and you should listen to that. But I don't... He feels dangerous like the Joker, but it's kind of in a vague kind of way. Okay, sure. Like maybe he's got a knife in that cane, but we yeah. never see it. Yeah. <laughs> so we can't definitively say. Absolutely. Yeah. He, look, he, he's got he's got various kind of lethal foods. Sure, yeah. Like he's got like a chewing gum that expands you. Yep. He's got like a, a, a lemonade that will make you float into a ceiling fan. Uh-huh. But the issue is, can he trick Doc Brown mm. into imbibing any of those and I say no because yeah. we've determined yeah. we already know it's a threat right? yeah you're absolutely yeah. right yeah mm. 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 I think Doc Brown's got this I think he'd just flatten him just run him over with the, I don't with think, the, yeah, I don't with think the it DeLorean, matters yeah. that Willy Wonka has anything on him I right. think he's got a car so that, <laughs> sure. that automatically so wins. it really it doesn't matter whether it, it doesn't matter what supernatural powers Willy Wonka has and it doesn't matter what time travel technology has been built into the DeLorean. No. It's still a fast car. Yes. W- w- made of steel. Yeah. That could he can't leave... Willy Wonka can't leave the stadium. So it, yeah, he could just pin true. him against the wall and kill him. Yep. Like, that would be it. Do you think Willy Wonka is agile enough? Because we know he can do a roll. He could do one roll. He could do a sweet forward roll. I haven't seen him run. I'm not saying he can't run. It's the it's the knife and a cane situation. Yeah. He may be able to run. Yeah. I didn't see him. I haven't seen him do it. Yeah. It, his pants and everything, they're all, they're all, his jacket's all very whimsical, but how quickly can you move in that weird dinner suit? I'm going to say faster than you, can, than you think. Yeah, sure. Um, faster than a car that's doing like a weird kind of burn out and <laughs> kind of flatten you or whatever. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Look, okay, I'm I'm gonna say Doc Brown. Yeah, but can you put it past right? Yeah, he, he's flooring it at. He's just he isn't using the flux capacitor or anything like that. He's just hit 88 miles per hour. Yeah, he's flooring it at Willy Wonka. Yeah, Willy Wonka does a sweet forward. Like he turns to the side, he does a sweet forward roll. Yeah, and then Doc Brown's like. Where is he? And then all of a sudden, Willy Wonka's in the passenger <laughs> side and he just slits his throat with a knife cane. <laughs> There's not enough evidence to say that could That's, happen. All right, fine. Uh, it, it's pot- potentially yes. Yeah. But also, Doc Brown could hit him at 88 miles per hour, time travel, and then hit him at the, the opposite side. <laughs> wow. Do you know what I mean? No, I see what you're saying. Like yeah. wherever he rolls to, he could just time travel to that point and hit him there. Mm. That's what I'm saying. All right, fine. I think we give it to Doc Brown. <laughs> all right, good. Next one. Yes. Uh, Johnny Depp, Willy Wonka. No, we're not doing that. Ah. <laughs> this is from Cake Bros. Cake He's Boss definitely Brown. got a knife. <laughs> he definitely does. He's got a knife and a greasy bandana. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is from Cake Boss Ralph. Love that guy. Um, this is a three-way battle. This is the only one that I think we've got today. Okay, right. Let's see how this goes. Uh, it's the battle between uh, the Batmen, Keaton, Clooney, Kilmer. These are the Bert, the Burton Schumacher era sure. Batman. Okay, right. Neither of them have a lot of move, and none of them have a lot of movement. Mm. Mm. Okay, so you recently did a video I did. on the number of people Batman has killed in the movies, and there was some contention. But I should we talk about this? Yeah, because I asked you about it. Yes, there's a, there's one where Two Face is firing a rocket at Val Kilmer Batman. So this is Batman and Robin. This is Batman forever. Forever. Yep. And he. Flips the Batmobile's wheels and he kind of scooches the to the wheels. Batman wheels and he scooches to the side and that rocket hits two henchmen. Yes, and behind their car explodes. Car explodes and they're killed. Yeah, and I. Rack- 